I'm a big fan of the 60 meter band. Came across it a few years ago, just spinning around checking out different bands. From my home QTH in Virginia, just struck up a conversation with some guys that were up in the mountains of Virginia and the mountains of North Carolina. And you know what? Some of the best operators I've ever come across. So it's like, wow, this is a great spot. And the 60 meter band is a wonderful band because really for voice, it's five channels. It's channelized. So you don't have a lot of bleed over and issues and stuff like that. Also found that usually you got groups of guys that just get on 60 and chat and hang out and have fun. Well, my friend Ed, KB1LUO up in Maine, said, hey, Walt, why don't you join us? So I have been. I've been getting on and talking to those guys, him and his friends. And they are awesome. Just a great group of guys. And I enjoy just rag chewing with them. Problem is I've been doing it with my G90. And there have been nights where I, I couldn't get through with just the 20 watts and because I'm using a infed half wave for 40 or 40 through 10 meter infed half wave so it's a compromise on 60 and that's the reason why i've been using the g90 is because the g90 will tune it my yesu ft710 the 100 watt radio will not tune that the tuner in that radio will not tune that antenna i think i've got a solution 75 bucks on amazon this is a guzizo guzizu i'm sorry guzizu version 3.2 atu 100 now this one is the version without the, here, I got it right here, without the battery in it. Just get the cable. That's why it's $75. Piece of cake, man, the power cable. I put a couple clips on it. Just clip it to the battery you're using for the, um, for the rig. It doesn't draw much just when you're tuning. But um, really cool little tuner here. I'm going to hook up the Guzizu version 3.2 ATU, the ATU 100, and see if that's the, I think that might be the answer for me getting on and having 100 watts now on the 60 meter band. Let's check it out. I mean, hey, after that, I might even try 80. Let's see what goes on here. Let's get on and see if we can, uh, if this will tune where the Yesu FT710 internal ATU won't. And if we can make some contacts, stick around. Okay, here's the tuner. I don't have it powered up yet, but uh, we'll take a peek at it. The ATU 100 HF Auto Tuner from Guzizu. Uh, I'm going to show you a quick demonstration first. Uh, 60 meters. I have a infant half wave out back for uh, it's a 40 meter and uh, you know 40 through 10. So obviously not an antenna made for the 60 meter band. Now the internal tuner. On this uh, Yesu FT710, I'll, I'll show you what happens when you try to tune the 60 meter band. Hey. There you go. It won't tune it. It just won't do it. So that's an issue. And uh, also, you know, if you can see, I won't tune it. Uh, it won't let me. We're good right now because uh, it's daytime. I don't think there's anyone on 60, but I'll just do a, a test. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar uh, testing. Testing Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. There you go. You can see the high SWR as well. So let's power this thing up. I'll show you the difference here of having a tuner like this. We go. I like the I like the power feature too. Okay, so there's obviously no one on the frequency right now. Let's uh, turn our power down. I get the function set for power. Let's turn it down to five watts. And we'll put the mode on uh, FM just to tune. Okay, we'll come down here and uh, just. Watch I was on this thing and uh, key the mic, hit the tuner. All right, what do we get out of that? Let's see here. SWR 1.12 there. That's at the five watts there. So awesome. Okay, let's check it out now. We'll get on, we'll put the power, let's put mode back on, um, on USB because it's 60 meters. Take our power back up to uh, 100 watts. There's another feature I like with this thing too. I'll just do a quick test. Focused in on there. 
This is Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar uh, testing and checking the frequency. Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. You see, see the power? You can see what was going on with it. Let's, um, like I said, it's early in the day. I just want to test it out. A little later this evening, we'll try this thing out on the 60-meter band and see with that 40-meter band infant half-wave compromise antenna if this thing works well enough for us to make some contacts. We'll give it a shot. Okay, it's money time. Let's see if I can get through up to Maine with this. These guys are about 250 miles away from me, um, Ed, Tom, and friends. Uh, let's go up here and see if I can start making some contacts and have a little rag chew. Kilo 4, Oscar, Golf Oscar, standing by and listening. It's me. Hey, good. great to make contact with you guys there. Good. I heard you in there just a minute ago. Uh, just flipped over here to check it out, see how things were going tonight on 60. I'm doing real good. I worked this morning and took one long afternoon nap with all this rain coming down here in southern New England. What's it like up there? Yeah, well, I'm just running um, you know, the 100 watts with the FT710, and I'm also using just a regular, you know, 40 meter infed half wave in an inverted V. But I, I've got this F10, F, this FT710 will not tune that antenna. I was using an, an external one, and uh, they I was sent a little uh, ATU100, you know, the little small uh, ATU. It thing tunes it up well. It says I'm getting out uh, right now about 75, 80 watts, and my SWR is uh, 1.23 to 1, so I'm pleased with this little uh, tuner. Roger that, Roger that, and uh, you're 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 on the S meter. You're a uh, an S nine, solid S nine. Uh, we do have a little bit of noise between us, but uh, your signal's lovely. Hey, good to, uh, good to catch you guys on here again. I, I've said this before. I, I love 60 meters, man. I love hanging out with you guys. You guys are awesome. great group of guys i really uh, quite a few nights now i've been getting on and uh, chatting with those guys and now that i have this and it works um probably do that a little bit more so good setup so now i know that with a compromise antenna from rhode island to maine where they're at about 250 miles um evening the sun's still come up you know not quite into the gray line it works i can make that compromise antenna work for me on 60. let's go see if it'll tune 80. All right, let's see if we can tune this thing down and turn the volume down on for 80. I've got it set at uh, 5 watts. Uh, I've got it on uh, FM. 
let's uh let's let's give it a shot here and see if we can tune this thing get that off of there and uh see what happens here wow look at that almost one to one swr all right let's see if we can make a contact on 80 man we are really stretching it but uh let's see if it'll work Yeah, I hear you loud and clear. You're like uh, 10 over, a uh, really good signal here. I'm on a compromise, a real compromise antenna using a tuner. The name is Walt Whiskey Alpha Lima Tango, Kilo 4 Oscar Golf Oscar. Just tuning around, uh, seeing if I could actually make a contact on 80. So it's good to hear you. Yeah, we're all pretty much up in Eastern Central Mass here. I think everybody's hearing you just fine. Oh, good stuff. Good stuff. It's good to know that. I've just got a Yesu FT710. And like I said, it would, I've got a half wave, uh, infant half wave for 40 I'm using. So what is it, like a quarter wave right here on this one? But um, the uh, Yesu wouldn't tune it. I got a little external tuner and tuned it up and uh, just figured I'd uh, spin around 80 here, 75, 80, and uh, see if I could make a contact. So thank you guys so much. Yeah, it's definitely working. Let's see. Oh, I guess we're okay. We got a little bit of sparky stuff in the sky coming our way, but it's still way down in Connecticut. So I think we'll probably be out of here before before we have to disconnect. The there you go. Those guys are between 30 and 50 miles north of me. I'm just across the uh, state line from Rhode Island into Mass. So they're they're just a that, that's a pretty close shot. So um, with this antenna, which is a heck of a compromise on um, on. Uh, 80 meters it was still nice to know that i was getting through and uh they could all hear me so um we'll chalk it up another one to the tuner because honestly the um the yesu would not tune that as well so gotta do it <laughs> let's just go see what's going on on the top band okay we gotta try to do it just tune it there's nothing on this is 160 top band let's see if we can tune it uh, you never know some days it might be a good night and something could happen this would be the most compromised antenna of all i'm not trying to make any contacts here i just want to see if this will tune um the top band here so let's get it on let's say right there 1900 let's turn the let's turn the uh, power down to five watts and then what we'll do is go mode we'll put it fm and uh let's see if we can tune top band <laughs> Look at that. 1.7 something to one. Um, it tuned the 160 meter band. So if you got a long wire, uh, this might be another way to uh, to get on 160 to get on top band. Holy cow, this is awesome. Well, it tuned it. Tuned it for top band, but let's be honest. You're not going to make, I'm not going to make a contact on the 160 meter band with an NFED halfway made for the 40 meter band. That's really stretching it. But the cool thing about this thing, if you look on the back, though, is it's got a, uh, this is for an antenna, for an extra antenna. You can just run a long wire off of this uh, instead of uh, the antenna out to the antenna. You can just hook a wire here and uh, use this with a long wire. And if you've got something, I mean, this thing will take, uh, obviously, it takes 100 watts. If you've got a, a wire long enough and get it in a position, and you could, this is an opportunity to get 80 and 160 meters um with uh, a random wire a long a random wire so um i love it uh i just wanted to show you guys this thing it'll tune it gives me a lot more opportunity with antennas with my yesu ft710 that's the reason i love the I mean, honestly the number one reason why i like my g90 so much is it's it, the, tu the tuner that's in it the internal tuner but hey this isn't bad for 75 bucks nice little piece of kit to have you know, with me, if you're uh, looking for something to uh, enhance your uh, situation, if you're kind of compromised antenna, uh, maybe you look into this. I will put a link below to where this one came from um, if you're really interested, because I'll tell you what, uh, I like it and I will continue to use it, especially to talk to my friends on the 60 meter band. I, I like that a lot. So anyway, if you enjoy stuff like this, you enjoyed HF uh, Ham Radio, please like and subscribe. Till next time, I'm Salty Walt, K4OGO. Stay salty, my friends.